Well, Nigerians should make sacrifices to ensure that the country does not disintegrate. This is former President Goodluck Jonathan's message to the political class and youths of the country on the occasion of his 60th birthday, where he thanks President Muhammadu Buhari, former Vice President Abubakar Atiku, and also Bayelsa State's Governor Siraki Dixon for felicitating with him. Ovietime George has the details. Nobody's ambition is what's the blood of any Nigerian. Good luck, Jonathan's famous address to Nigerians before the 2015 presidential elections. Two years after, Jonathan still holds fast to that philosophy which endears many Nigerians to him as the father of modern democracy in the country. It was a cheerful yet humble Jonathan who played host to visitors on the occasion of his 60th birthday at his country home in Otuweke. I have to thank my governor for being here. Let me also thank Mr. President, President Buari, also former Vice President Atiku, also issued a statement wishing me well because the APC, the ruling party, and my own party, the number one opposition party, the PDP, also issued statements wishing me well, and so many other senior Nigerians that have sent texts to me, all the former presidents and others. So let me use this unique opportunity that you are with me to thank all of them. I will find a way to communicate to them my appreciation. I'm happy that a number of people gathered to make it seem like a celebration, but I know it's not a, a birthday celebration planned by him, but it's a happy gathering. Even at this age, he has done uh, virtually occupied all the offices in the state and uh, across the country. So, um, lived a very remarkable life, a uh, very remarkable life. Uh, but so, we are here to felicitate with him, to congratulate him, and to also on this special day appreciate him for what uh, he has been able to, to achieve so far. At the surprise birthday celebration organized for him, Nigeria's former president talked about the unity of the country and called on the political class to play sacrificial roles. I believe that if I made a little effort that this country didn't disintegrate in 2015 elections, I believe so many Nigerians can do the same in one way or the other. All doesn't have to be with elections. My own is unique because I had that privilege of being a sitting president to contest elections. But there are so many other ways who will make sacrifices for the growth of society so that we can progress as individuals, as, a, as communities, as a nation from one level to the other. George, TVC News, Otuake, Bayelso State.